Second President of the United States, John Adams. Because we have no government armed with power, capable of contending with human passions, unbridled by morality and religion, avarice, ambition, revenge, and licentiousness would break the strongest cords of our Constitution as a whale goes through a net. Our Constitution was made only for a moral and religious people. It is wholly inadequate to the government of any other, like we were just saying. So this also goes to show that even if you have the right piece of paper, the right document, if you don't have the right people who will follow it, that's where we are today. That's where you are today. Now that makes sense. Right. It's just like the Bible. The Bible, I mean, the Constitution is a great document. The Bible is our inerrant Word of God. And yet we don't follow it. In other words, you need to follow the document for it to work. So John Adams said, um, basically, immoral people would break the strongest cords of our Constitution as a whale goes through a net. Our Constitution was made only for moral and religious people. People who will follow the document. James A. Garfield, 20th President of the United States. Now more than ever, the people are responsible for the character of their Congress. If that body be ignorant, reckless, and corrupt, it is because the people tolerate ignorance, recklessness, and corruption. If it be intelligent, brave, and pure, it is because the people demand these high qualities to represent them in the national legislature. If the next centennial does not find us a great nation, it will be because those who represent the enterprise, the culture, and the morality of the nation do not aid in controlling the political forces. Isn't that applicable to today? So in other words, if that body, Congress, and we could just expand that to our, our leaders, if they are ignorant, reckless, and corrupt, it's because we tolerate it. So it's up to us. John Francis Mercer, Maryland Delegate to the Constitutional, Constitutional Convention. Maryland Delegate to the Constitutional Convention. It is a great mistake to suppose that the paper we are to uh, propose will govern the United States. It is a great mistake to suppose that the paper we are to propose will govern the United States. It is the men whom it will bring into the government and interest in maintaining it that is to govern them. The paper will only mark out the mode and the form. Men are the substance and must do the business. So once again, we've got the blueprint, but you need someone to follow the blueprint for it to work out. we got the piece of paper, you need people to follow it. In other words, we cannot de depend on our Constitution alone. We must have good men and women to serve who will follow the Constitution. Founding Father John Hancock said, I urge you by all that is dear, by all that is honorable, by all that is sacred, not only that ye pray, but that ye act. 